What's up guys, Cyber Houdini here, and welcome to Symbol Weed Pack. I've got something real special for you guys here. This was created by Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick, the legendary developers playing some fantastic series like The Secret of Monkey Island, Maniac Mansion, and Day of the Tentacle, some classics right there. It was successfully kickstarted back in 2014. We owe a lot to Kickstarter and its backers. We've had some incredible games. I played a few on the channel. It's such a wonderful platform to get these games into our hands. Oh, Oh, it's fantastic and this is no different. Timberweed Park is a return to form point and click adventure game that harkens back to the golden era of point and clickers. I love point and click adventure games. Um, you know, it still keeps things fresh, you know, we've got the whole pixelated style, but you can bet your ass there's going to be uh, a lot of laughs. We play as five characters, all seemingly random, but are deeply connected in some way, drawn to the rundown, forgotten town of Thimbleweed Park. Nothing can prepare them for the events about to unfold under the ever watchful eye of a mysterious stranger. This this guy here, Ransom, he's like <laughs> he's a clown, but he likes to swear a lot. He he looks like a favourite already. I cannot wait to play as this guy. I'm a massive fan, as I said, of point and click adventure games like Monkey Island, of course, and Blazing Dragons. They were some of my favourites. And I when I heard Ron Gilbert was coming back with a spiritual successor to the Secret of Mon Monkey Island. Damn, that made me happy. Timberweed Park has even got the, the, the old school pixelated uh, look and, the, and the, the verb list as well, you know, where you go like, pick up, look at, all that good stuff. I, I cannot wait. And it's fully voiced too, so, so far as I've heard anyway. And that, that is awesome. I'm expecting some serious freaking laughs here, guys. Fantastic art, as you can see already. And some definite head-scratching moments, some nice puzzles. This is going to be one to remember. I cannot... Bloody way. And the tagline, guys, in a, in a town like Timberweed Park, a dead body is the least of your problems. Oh, I can't wait. Let's kick this off. All right, guys, here we go. We got a lovely background there of Timberweed Park. New game. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, that's nice and responsive. Okay, once you choose a mood, mood, mood. <laughs> you can't change it without starting a new game. You can play in casual mode, then play again in hard mode. All right, I'm going to go casual mode, but, I mean, what's if you're an experienced adventure gamer, I know oh, one puzzle because there's nothing more insight in life than playing adventure games. If you're new to adventure games, you're looking for a quicker experience. Damn, because life is exciting. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm not too used to it. I play the odd point-and-click adventure games. Hmm, let me see. Okay, let's just go casual mode, alright? I don't like the sound of it, but damn it! Casual mode, huh? Okay, so we got a little tutorial as well. Okay, well, that's all the better. I kind of need one of these. Interact with characters and objects here. Uh, text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. Look at key cards. Yeah, so look, we got like pick up, look at, talk to, push, pull. Oh, yeah, bit of pushing, bit of pulling. All right, give commands to your characters by selecting verbs. Uh, items your characters have picked up are here. Cool. So we only allowed to carry eight objects, maybe. I see a little, little teddy bear. Uh, simple command start with a verb and end with an object or character. Complex command start with a verb, then an object uh, with another object. Oh, okay, okay. Second object character, use key card indoor. Yeah, okay. To review or see advanced interaction tips, select options, then help. Oh yeah, I'm going to need that a lot. 1987. Yeah, there's two detectives in this, and they, they give me the Scully and Mulder vibe something fierce. Something crazy going on in this town. That's not ominous or anything. Jesus Christ. Hopefully I've got all the sound and everything okay. It's one of those games I want you guys to hear the awesome music. And yeah, all the, all the voices. That move by itself. Thimbleweed Park. City Limit. Oh! You done got me! Population. What? The sign was one of the population. <laughs> Someone's standing behind the sign. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I'm I'm really excited if you couldn't tell. Part one, the meeting. That's why I said game mood. <laughs> Freaking excitement. I've been waiting a while for this one. The fireflies. This is beautiful. Have I? Control? No. Okay. Oh, this is freaking fantastic. Trestle trail. Hobo! We got a Herbert the Hobo! I meant to shout Herbert, and I said, I shouted Hobo. <laughs> Cyber's in a goofy mood today. What are you drinking there, man? Pass it. Here's Mulder. 
I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says is he... to come to the bridge down <laughs> by the river. Is he German? This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. <laughs> Alright, okay, use the D-pad. Alright, the D-pad controls all this good stuff. And then the analog controls this. So, it's, yeah, it's a little bit different for a point-and-click adventure game on console for sure. Uh, okay, using the... Right, hold on now. Walk to the gate. Okay, so... Thank you for the tips. Open gate. Open says me. Let's see what he's got in his inventory. Uh, look at note. Okay. Boris, I'm glad you decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Check. Go to the river down by the trestle trail. Bridge. Check. Three. Turn off the light above the trestle trail sign so I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you are not followed. Uh, what else? Look at what. And it has 252 American dollars in it. So this must be Boris. Hello, Boris. Look at my keycard for room 505. And the teddy bear. Look at prototype pillow bear TM. Uh-oh, this thing's... Bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Very oh, nice. Can we pull the teddy bear? I not turn it inside out now. Please. I had better not turn it inside out now. But t can we talk to the bear? T you know you want to. Talk to that bear now. God damn it. Let's talk to Willy. What a name. Willy the Hobo. Okay. Uh, oh, I can actually uh, pick one of these. Okay. Okay, the D-pad actually goes straight through them. Okay, I like this. This is really intuitive. I like this as well because you don't want to go, whoops, I hit that one by accident. Just get that D-pad going. Okay, I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of the inferior <laughs> American social support system? Okay. <laughs> social support system? <laughs> Uh, I need some whiskey. Don't we all, buddy? Don't we all? Sober up, sir. Don't ever tell him to sober up. That's his own choice. <laughs> I'm supposed to meet I'm someone. supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Damn, that's all that's on his mind, man. What the hell is the matter with you? Why is that all that's on your mind? I mean, who would be like that? Just having whiskey on the mind 24-7. Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. What? Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. Okay, so he says exactly, or maybe everyone says exactly what you pick in the conversation choices. So maybe I won't read them out as much because that'll just drive you guys crazy. Okay, so wherever I click, he will go just by pressing the A button. I'm just kind of getting a feel for it so you guys can get a feel for it too. For any of you who are going to play this on console. Okay, let's head on over here. Here's the sign. Is this the sign I need to switch the light off? Okay, uh, pull out the light. Could that be a good idea? Pull light. Ah, oh, it's too hot to touch. Um, let me see. Pick up, maybe? I yeah, it wouldn't. Want to pick that up. Um, can we use the teddy bear? Pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out, and you get a pillow. Very right, all right. Secret. Pick up the I rock. Okay. Really <laughs> <from a bear laughs> you don't need a hug from a bear. The hell? Okay, walk. Turn off the light to let them know I'm here. There right. Be something around here that can help. I wonder if I can ah. use the rock to put out the light. Okay, we're gonna throw the the rock at the light. Use rock on uh, light. Go for it, dude. Schmack. Couldn't have throw. You couldn't have threw it from there, no. Yeah. You damn useless. I've completed step three of the note. Now Excellent. Step four. I don't know what to think of you yet. Boris, uh, meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. I can still hear Willy snoring over there. Or oh, maybe I should. Should I go in here? Uh, this is not good. This is this is a surefire way to get yourself killed. Okay, I'm still going. Tr tr this. Oh, oh, you can make him. Holy crap! Did you see that? It's a very shadowy figure if I ever saw one. I was just getting used to I think if I press it twice, he, he legs it. None of us prepared for what we'd find out night. Or how much it would change us all. That happens so fast. Part two. The body. The body. That happened so fast that I barely saw his red beady eyes in his trench coat. Here's the detectives. I was thinking, I was like, 
That can't be. This is the this is the Scully and Mulder. Maybe we'll call them um, Scolder and Muldy. <laughs> uh, okay. So tell me again why you're here. Ooh, I like her voice. The case by the Home Office in Albuquerque. There is Albuquerque. No home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. Okay, she's Agent Ray. Compliment, Agent Ray is. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> Decompose. Okay. Starting. Oh God. Pixelate. He's a rookie. This is going to be a long night. Oh yeah. So she's Agent Ray. He's Agent Reyes. <laughs> is he chuckling? Okay. Um, to switch. Okay. Use left and right triggers to switch characters. Nice. Okay, blue is Agent Ray and orangey brown is Agent that body before it pixelates any further. It's Agent Reyes. Okay. So okay, that's cool. Uh, and and this guy. So we kinda know what we're doing because of uh It's an instant camera. Because what we just seen with Boris. Okay, so let's use uh let's use the camera. Polaroid camera on the body. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. Are you taking the piss right now? What have we got here? Look at no... Okay. The body's starting to pixel there. Yeah. Ray is going to get in my nerves. Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need to do. You're going to get in her nerves. What's this? Yes! Arrived in Timberweed Park from Albuquerque by bus. Heading out to look at the body. This is perfect cover! Still walking along the highway. It's a long way from town. Arrived at the body. And Agent Ray is here. Which is odd. No one should have been sighted to this case. I may have heard of her from rumours around the office. Might pose some problems for me. Remember to call mom tonight. <laughs> okay, so cover. Why would he write that uh, this is perfect cover in a notepad? You're an idiot. What if you drop it or leave it down? Okay, so he he's up to no good already. Damn. Let's see what Agent Ray. Okay, look at badge. Agent Angela Ray, senior agent. Hello. My badge. Mhm. Mm see what she's writing down. Okay. Uh, got into town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. What the fuck does that mean? Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that way again. Uh, arrived at the body? It should do just fine as my cover. What? I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh, great. Uh, some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. <laughs> They're both undercover for something else. What the hell? Agents, my ass. Okay, she got a, she got a cell phone. Right, so, yeah, we know it's 1987, so that's what cell phones looked like back then, kids. Okay, she's... She, film. She's got it the contains one photo. Yeah, she's got the Polaroid film. So let's give the Polaroid film to oh, Reyes. Stuff. Shut up. You need to put it with the with there we go. Okay, so uh, let's see, would we pull, pick up, open? No, it'd be use, wouldn't it? Just getting the hang of thing, guys. Use that with that. Yes! Okay, now we will uh let's see. What's this up down thing? Jesus, we're gonna have more in inventory. Okay, use the Polaroid camera on the corpse. Done. Smile. There we go. Oh, that's so cool! Look at the little pixelated picture. Approximately forty years old. Looks like he's been in the water for twenty-four hours. His notebook is is moving as he's writing. That's cool. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Hmm. I wonder if we, we could have gave the camera to her. Uh to Angela Ray. Yeah, she could have she could have took the picture that as well. Maybe that could change things. That's remember, just think about that. Oh. Yeah. We should go oh, find the sheriff. Look at okay. Can we can we can we talk about anything? Can we pick up the corpse? <laughs> That's the coroner's job. I'm freaking tampering with evidence. That's all I want. Okay. Okay, we picked up the bottle. Is it? Look it's at the empty, empty whiskey. whiskey bottle. Definitely okay. not the murder weapon. 
wrong sized body hole. There you go. If you hold down the button, it goes 90. Let's go over here. We knew there was something going on in the sewers. We should go find the sheriff. I know, I know. I want to have a look around here. Look at what? A badge? No, that, okay. Drag mark. There we go. Okay. Can you not, can you not do anything else? Uh, let me see. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. Okay. Uh, the bumper. Alright, alright. The bumper buttons uh, will cycle through things that are on screen, which is freaking awesome. Alright, look. Can you look at that? Yeah, okay. Freshly caught. Mm. Anything else there? No. Can we we should go find the sheriff. I want to go in the sewers, man. Go, go 90. Ooh. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. All right, if I switch over to her, just sends me flying over there. Okay, cool. This is we awesome. Go find the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's saying the same thing. Uh, his suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Uh, okay, nothing. Uh, a hotel key card. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. Okay, I don't know why I read that backwards. Sorry. Okay, is the hobo still here? No. Is there anything? Speck of dust? Wow. Okay, can she actually, like, pick up speck of dust? Uh, okay, there you go. Did she pick? She picked up the speck of dust! That's my speck of dust. What? What does that mean? What have I just found? Mother of Christ. Okay. Um. All right. Just check. I'm just still checking out the controls, guys. Uh, let's see, is there any shortcuts? Any more I shortcuts? Need to stay oh. And solve this murder, so I can do what I need to do. All right. What is B? What is A? Brings us there. Uh. Okay. A and X seems to do the same thing. I think. Maybe. Should go find the sheriff. No, I think. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Walk to. Okay, guys. I'm just getting the hang of this. I think X actually does whatever's. Okay. Now it's telling me. It does whatever's highlighted. Okay. Use the bumpers to jump between nearby objects or leave verb. Uh, inventory area. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll get the hang of it. Use the D-pad to select. Uh, select verbs. Inventory. Okay. Kind of got the hang of that one. Press X to execute the highlighted verb. Okay, cool. That's yeah. I just learned that. Cool. It's one way to do it. Uh, double press A to move quickly to cursor's location. Right. Hold down A to get your character following the cursor around. Hmm. What is that for? Okay. Okay. It's cool. I'm glad I did this because I need I need to get used to it. So hold and she'll follow around like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna like me, are you? Okay. Is Look an at empty the tuna can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. That might be something. Let's pick that up. Why not? Is an empty can of okay. Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Okay, so where's our car? I don't Walk see to anything up ahead. I think the right. must be in the other direction. Alright, I got you. Hold on, we got something here. Oh, an Atari cartridge! No way! ET game for the 2600. <laughs> that should be buried. <laughs> Let's pick that crap up. Come on. Pick up. Oh, hold on. It's the ET game for the 2600. There we go. I'm picking up everything. Can I have a crap ton of junk on me? I don't care. Whoa. Watch out. What the hell was that? Did you see that? They've stopped too. We got two. We got a circus flyer here. Let's have a look at that. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty mm. good makeup though. I wonder do we have to pick up everything? I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick up everything. Secret Whoa! Very strong tonight. Pigeon brothers? Plumbing? What signals? What signals right? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? Dress like a giant pigeon. We're the pigeon brothers plumbing? I'm Beth. <laughs> That's my sister Emily. Pigeon brothers, but your but your but your sisters. Signals are very strong tonight. What is going on? Okay, 
She's at once to ask the same question. Cool. Brothers, if your sisters. Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was wow. too cheap to have the van repainted. <laughs> What's wrong with it he's dead? Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. The signals are very strong tonight. It's a rusted piece of crap. What signals? The signals. The signals are very strong tonight. Okay, you like your signals. Yes. You already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Very, very strong. You almost ran over federal agent. That's a felony. Yeah, it's a felony. It's a freaking death too. This is really odd. Should I save my game? <laughs> <laughs> this is really odd. <laughs> Should I save my game? That's like some fourth wall break and stuff. Game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Really? It'll be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. I like the, out for the signals. Okay, the signals. Very strong and disrupt the power grid. I'm hearing some weird noise. I like the pee on the pigeon brothers. It's like a, it's like a pigeon, like a pigeon. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> <laughs> but classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true up until Monkey Island. At oh yeah. Lucas Art style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. Uh, okay, you can really follow this really it's far. My God. A sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. I'm so happy this is all completely voiced. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find a sheriff and solve a murder. Yeah, I, might, I think I'm, I'm going to rock Agent Bray for a bit. She just seems stern and, you know, she'd give you a good talking to her. Right? You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Wow, you are really jonesing for them signals. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. It's the nodding that's throwing me off, not the beaks. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Click, click, click. Oh my god. Beep. Beep. Squeak. What? Was uh, what the heck is with the speck of dust right now? Are they collectibles or something? Click, Guys, click, sh click. shut up. Click, click. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. What the hell? You two are nuts. <laughs> you seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Click, click, click. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to say. Beep. Click, 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 click. Beep. Let's see. Can I? Can I? Can I? Uh, like, give them some of the stuff? She doesn't want it. No. She does Beep. want it. No time to talk. We need to figure out. All right. Okay. All right. That's all okay. good. Okay. Um, let's see. Can. Walk to van, okay, cool. Beep. Eek. But they let me get. I'm gonna try and get into the van, okay? Why the hell not? It's locked. Eek. No. It's too heavy. I'm out. Okay, pull the door. Not necessarily the it's van. Too heavy. All right, okay, we can't Eek. get into the van. Hmm. Squeak. All right, where's where's our car? Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Plastic rings. Oh, it's like from. A six pack of beer. From a six pack? Is, yeah. You're supposed to cut them up before. I know, we don't want any pigeons getting caught in them, do we? No. I am I go to pick it up. I pick up everything. You never know. Some of this stuff could actually be useful. I don't know where our car is. It's a freaking there they go. Bye you crazy pigeons. Got a cemetery. Oh man. I don't know about that. I want, where's the other dude? He's miles back. I want. I thought he'd come with us. Agent Reyes. Hmm. Okay, let's head on in here. Why not? Find the sheriff. We should go find the sheriff. Oh, 
I want I want to go in the cemetery. Walk to town. Okay, cool. Jeez, that wasn't ominous or anything. You're freaking me out. What the hell? Someone's watching. Someone's waiting. The signals are very strong. All right, where the hell are you, dude? The phone. The phone is making ho oh, crazy noises. Let's let's see. Can we make a call? It's oh. a cell phone. Yeah, I want you to make make a phone call. There you go. What the? Oh my god. Okay, we can actually we can actually make. What can, can we ring? Let's ring nine one one. Go, go for it. Nine one one. That's the only number I know, American wise. De -de 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 -de. Sorry, but we're out to dinner. Call back next week. That's so typical. Does this mean there's a message? Okay. okay. Maybe there's a message. There we go. Okay, let's press. Can we press this button? Push the button. No, nothing doing there, right? Okay. Maybe it just means you've got, like, reception or something. Maybe. Is the sign? Main Street. All right, let's see what it's saying about the bullet hole. More like thimble stupid. Oh, sick burn. All right, Willie's. <laughs> Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Good old Willie. Where is he now? Watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. Mm. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Why violins? Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Freaking bust! Oh no! Oh damn! Here we go. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. <laughs> That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Federinos. Damn straight, we're the Feds. Cut the moonbreaker. Oh my God. We're taking over this case. Jesus. Cut the Mayberry crap. Jesus. Over so many case. options. Whoa. I'm going tough with this one. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the Oh bay. wow, he likes the Reno word, doesn't he? About murder, sir. Shut up, Reno. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. <laughs> This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's <laughs> find a corner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. Nope. Oh, this is awesome. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. Murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? <laughs> yes, arenos. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it there, Areno. Um, I think we, we <laughs> I think we've seen a good bit so far. I don't know how long to make these episodes. There's gonna be a lot of, a lot of talk and a lot of uh, head scratching moments for sure. But when we come back, we're gonna talk to the sheriff. Yeah, we met freaking two big pigeons as well. I don't know what the hell is going on with these specs at those theater. I am as confused as you are on that one. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.